Well, good morning, my Sagittarians. Happy New Year's Eve. Can you guys believe it? We made it to the end of the year. Where, wait, where did the time go? It went so fast. I, I was, Okay, so I am doing Oracle cards this week. Um, again, I'm doing, um, what is it? It's called Queen of the uh, Moon Oracle. I, it's a beautiful deck. I really like it, but I like the feel. Most importantly, I like the feel it gives to the readings. And I am doing bonus reads this weekend. You, you guys... I can't believe your bonus read. I just can't even believe what happened. It, it really took off and I think you guys are enjoying it. I think you find that it really feels like a, um, a personal story. If, if that main storyline was yours, the extended probably really felt like a personal, personal, personal reading is what I should say. It really brought it home. Um, okay, so I am doing those this weekend to the top three highest viewed signs. You may or may not have another one. We shall see what happens, but it will be on Sunday when I do those reads. So. Bottom of the main deck, I have Three of Swords Reverse, Libra Energy. I have Eight of Pentacles on the Clarifying deck. What's below the Three of Swords? Knight of Wands, I like that, getting your passion back. Eight of Pentacles underneath the Empress Reverse. You know what's interesting? In the Hierophant, look at the true pair. Maybe you left a soulmate behind, a soulmate that has absolutely been draining you. But you see how the Empress is sitting? Let me turn this off for a second. You see how the Empress is sitting on her heart, protecting it? I, I like to think Sagittarius, that heart of the Empress's used to have three swords in it. But there's no swords in it, but she is protecting her energy. I do feel like you maybe could be working on yourself. We are going into the new year and new years. Usually a lot of people do start eating better and exercising and thinking about yourself you're thinking about what makes you happy which is really great too bad we can't hold on to that longer you know more than a couple weeks so but let's see empress reverse was there okay yep eight of pentacles but eight of pentacles i actually feel like it's just you working on yourself and i think you've been working on yourself because i do feel like you probably were drained by a certain energy but what i like sagittarius there you are upright you're finding your passion back stella's got her groove back i like that and strength so, but the Oracle cards, look how interesting this is. I do it off, off camera because it takes a while. Yours did take a while. I let the Oracle, the God spirit pick them. They didn't come out consecutive, but they should have because I got release, which I feel like this is what you've been doing. Releasing something or someone has absolutely been draining you. You realize I can't change this person. And if I actually have to change a person to want to be with me, I don't want that person at all. You're releasing it to the ethers. You're releasing it to 2021. And look at that. Going into 2022, you're walking through. Leaving winter behind into the spring. You're leaving the past behind looking forward. And there's no going back in this energy. So I really like that. Okay, for some of you, that might be the only story to be found. I have no idea what the storyline is going to be. It could be more of this. It could be something entirely different. And that's confirmation or just for somebody out there. So, okay, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. Oh, look at the Magician. Magician and the Eight of Swords Reverse. I like that. Um, all right, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you are a Sag, know a Sag. Be a like being a Sag. And the reason why I say that, because I see this in the comments, you could be a Sag watching this and saying, yeah, that's my story, Stacey. That was an asshole. Or that is the love of my life. You could be somebody that could be an Aquarius or a Virgo or a Pisces watching this and say, that Sag did that to me. How, why do they get that? It's It doesn't energy, it doesn't work like that. That's why I said this is really for, if, if this storyline fits you, it's your story. It doesn't mean you're on the opposite side because you may not be a Sagittarius. A Sagittarius could have done you wrong. And most people who are narcissists aren't watching tarot, are they? So I don't think these readings are for the are for them anyway. I mean, maybe there's a narcissistic tarot reader out there that caters to narcissists. I'm just not one of them. Um, okay, I just wanted to get that little TED talk out of the way because I think I just wanted to clear up the confusion there. All right, general energy for my Sagittarians. General energy for my Sages. General energy for my Sages. What is the collective messages that need to come out? Ten of Wands, your card, burden. Feels like it could have been 2021, I got it from beginning to end. What is influencing the Ten of Wands? Could be hard work too. It doesn't always have to be burden. It could be putting the work in because with the Eight of Pentacles, it definitely could be you just working on yourself, pushing yourself further. What is this? What's influencing the Ten of Wands? This Six of Pentacles, fairness. I actually like, I at first, actually, I like that. The Ten of Wands, in that case, you really could be 
focusing on your dreams. You could be putting in overtime at work. You could, I mean, it, it's, 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 it's pushing forward because I'm almost there kind of energy. You're almost there, Sag, you're almost there. Six of Pentacles is, it's, you're in this new energy or you're about to be. I mean, this really could be somebody coming in to help you with whatever this ton of wands is. I'm getting, okay, let's pull more cards. I'm getting so many things on those two cards. Because the Six of Pentacles could be an offering of hand, somebody coming in to help, help bear the burden. If you're a single parent and you're working so much and, you know, it, it, maybe somebody's coming in to help. With, I don't know, there's, with around the Eight of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, and the Ten of Wands. What is the reason for the reading? Why are we all here today, Sagittarius? What is it? And the Two of Wands reverse. Aries energy. Could be helping to make a decision. It could you could be making a decision to what? What's in the past? What happened in the past? King of Swords, clarity, strong. I like that. Aquarius energy. King of Swords see something clearly. They make some strong decisions. And you see those butterflies behind the King of Swords? It's in cement. That means when you get to this level, Sag, I just don't think you're taking the past energy back. I don't think you're taking you're not allowing people to treat you a certain way that may have treated you wrongly. You're not, you, you, you've grown up a lot this year. You've matured a lot. You're focusing on what you want, what you want. I feel what you're working so hard with the eight of pentacles in the bottom of the main deck and the six of pentacles here is you want a better life for yourself. Maybe for your kids, you want something better in 2022 than whatever you got in 2021 and before. And you're willing to put the work in no matter how long it takes. If that it's that perfect body that you deem perfect, if it's that job, if it's a certain level in your bank account, if it's a relationship, you're going to get it. Because you're making that decision, two on ones reverse, to not go back. You're making that decision to only push forward no matter what kind of work it takes, you're willing to put it in. That's how I'm seeing this. King of Swords, your mind is set. Those butterflies are there. You, you're in your transformational period. And you don't, a butterfly doesn't go back into a cocoon and become, become a caterpillar again. So you're not going back to be talked down to or taken advantage of or breadcrumbs. You, you, you want reciprocity, sure. But this Six of Pentacles, I feel like what you're entering into by putting this hard work in is a balance in your bank account. It's a balance within yourself. It's a balance within your mind and in your soul and in your body. Okay, I had to get all that out because I am I have it all flowing in my head. I wish it was like one clear storyline and maybe it'll, it'll tighten up. But yeah, I had to get that out. What is on Sag's mind? What is on Sagittarius's mind? What is on Sagittarius' mind? Queen of Wands reverse. And I feel like Sag, with this Aries, maybe an Aries did you wrong or a fire sign. With a Two of Wands reverse and a Queen of Wands reverse. I'm not really getting that, but for some of you, that's your story. And it could actually be both where I'm going to go with this. I think in 2021, you may have been played. You may have been breadcrumbed. You may have gotten your heart played with or, or heartbroken, okay? Because that Three of Swords reverse was there implying there was a Three of Swords at some point that you've been healing from. It was a burden, whatever this Queen of Wands reverse did to you. And I feel like they they may, maybe you waited on them to make a decision. And you made the decision to say, you know what? I deserve equality. I deserve not to be on my knees for you, you know, to beg you for a, a tiny bit of attention. If I have to beg you to stay with me, I don't want you at all, right? Okay, so that I feel like is more of a backstory. What is on your mind is not going back to the state. If I, this is within you, this is somebody who listens, this is somebody who might be afraid. I have two things trying to come out of my head. Let, let me put it in order here. This is somebody, one that can care too much of what people think. That's what I'm trying to say. Queen of Wands reverse judges the, what she does. Her actions are, 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 my words are not with me today. Her actions depend on what people think and say, okay? Even though you don't want to be like that, Six of Pentacles, you might have a somebody in your life, a parent or an older sibling that just knows better. And you have learned to shut up just to get along, right? And it's a burden to be in that energy. But you've grown. That's the King of Swords is you. I have no doubt that's you. You went from a Knight of Wands to a King of Swords all in one year. This is 
this is the last king before emperor. You don't tell a king of swords what to do. You don't tell an emperor what to do. They are taking charge of their own life. I feel like whoever this Queen of Wands reverse was listening to, those people weren't paying your bills. Those people don't have to live with the consequences of their bad advice. You do, Sag. So listen to your own vice because you're the one who has to live with the consequences. What are those consequences, you asked, Stacey? Let me tell you. It's the consequences of not getting to a Ten of Pentacles and knowing you can. It's the consequences knowing that you're settling for something less than you deserve. It's the consequences of staying where you aren't really cared, nurtured, or loved because it's just how it's been done and it's a sunk cost and I've been here 20 years and no, you are making the decision that enough's enough. And you're moving forward and saying, I am tired of being a queen of wands reverse, which means you've been putting your passion on hold for other people's convenience. So what I think what you're doing is making the decision to be upright. And you know what? She doesn't give a flying fuck what people say. Yes, I said the F word. She doesn't. That's why she has a black cat in the center of her card. Because at a time when these tarot cards were created, this person would have been hung or burned at a stake for even having a black hat. So she puts it on the front of her card and says, come at me, bitches. I dare you. She doesn't care. She just doesn't care. She, she will live with the consequences, but they were based on her own actions. She's not going to take anybody's consequences because they gave you bad advice. She's listening to herself. She's living her life out loud and she's going for her dreams. And she will never let go of this Ace of Wands in her hand. She's never gonna let anyone hold and take responsibility or, or play victim. She just makes her own decisions and lives by them. And usually, 100% of the time, when I say usually, I mean 100% of the time when it's upright, she wins. You're always gonna win in life if you try. And you are willing to put in the hard work you're willing to put in whatever it takes and every day eight of pentacles is day in day out you're not going to get that kind of life you dream up by sitting on the couch and dreaming about it or talking about it or saying yeah i wish i could have done this today's a new day brand new day right at least here it is in central standard time near chicago it's 9 24 a.m brand new day what could you do today to, to push you for further um, if it's about owning your own business or starting your own thing or writing your own book, yeah, it can't be completed today, but you can doodle down some ideas. You can manifest and dream and think about and put it down on paper what you want done. And this is the perfect night for it. We're going into a brand new year tonight, right, Sag? Put down on paper what you don't want to happen and burn that shit up tonight outside and let it go to the wind and put down what you want and keep it close to you. What do you see you want to achieve by December, 2022? Well, how do you want your life to look this time next year? Because it can look like that. It honestly can look like that. And how it looks like that is you take a six of pentacles saying, I know it's gonna happen. And eight of pentacles is day in and day out and do whatever it takes and keep that passion, keep the positive side, just keep in the here and now and the future will come the way exactly you want it. And maybe even better, right? It can even be better than you want it. But release what is no longer for you. Release the negative energies, release the negative talking to yourself, release what you can't control because what what what's for you, you don't need to control it at all. If it's a person, they will love you just the way you are. And I mean, everybody loves a queen of wands. Everybody has, you know, I'm sure everybody knows a queen of wands in their life. They could not be physically good looking, but because they're so confident and charismatic, they could be, it, it brings a next level of attractiveness about them. It's confidence. Confidence is the most attractive quality. And Sagittarius, you are very confident. You are a fire sign. But I don't think you're willing to, you're not afraid to put in the hard work. But I, I will say, be, be really be careful about listening to other people, especially if they haven't done it themselves, okay? What is an, thank you for letting me have that TED Talk out of the way. <laughs> Sage just like, I did not sign up for this. You're wasting my time with your TED Talk, Stacy. This is not TED Talk, TED Talk Tarot. All right, what's the near future for my Sagittarius? What's the near future? What's the near future? It is the Three of Cups, happiness. New energies, I feel friendships. I feel whoever the Six of Pentacles is, I do feel like you're coming into a new way of being. You don't have to do it on your own. I don't, it can go from doing some creativity, creatively, it can start 
if this is about you just working on yourself physically or mentally, if this is about you starting your own business, you don't have to do it all on your own. So don't think you can do it. You don't have to. You have to. Six of Pentacles and Three of Cups. I do feel like you do have a, a, a pretty good close of friends or you will. And maybe really what you're releasing is an old group of people that just kept you back because they have no inhibition or they have no inclination to be more this year, next year than they were this year. You know, there's a lot of people like that. They're just comfortable. They like working in the steel mill or working at fast food and paying their bills and partying on the weekends. And that's fine. I mean, be who you are. But if you, if this is your reading and you have a craving to be something more, then by all means, you will not be happy until you do that, okay? Six of Cups and Nine of Wands. And look, as you're working on yourself, look what happens. One, you're connected to yourself. I think you're aligning what you wanted to where you are and to where you're going. You're living a purposeful, passionful life. There's balance. There's your card, Sagittarius Energy. We're now all balanced. But look at this. We have an Ace of Pentacles and that Six of Cups staring you at the face. That's, that's definitely new love. But this is the energy you want to attract new love, not from a Queen of Wands reverse. You, you, you attract love from a Queen of Wands reverse, you're going to get a Queen of Wands reverse. And you guys know what that is. You don't want that. You want to attract love from a king of wands, from an uh, even as an empress, or because it's high value. You're no longer putting a cheap price tag on who you are or allowing other people to do it. You're priceless. And people are, need to treat you like a priceless object very carefully. All right, ten of wands or six of pentacles. Or six of pentacles. Isn't that funny? I didn't, I didn't mean it like that, but maybe. Do you want the burden or do you want fairness? Do you want to live under people's opinions or do you want to break free, break out of your mold? Okay, Ten of Wands, influencing the Six, influenced by the Six of Pentacles. That doesn't this, I don't know why they depict this picture. Six of Pentacles, when you read about it, I like it. It's about fairness and equality. It's the minor chronic card of the justice card. And it's all about fairness and equality. It's also about somebody coming in to help you, maybe to offer you a loan or maybe even money falling into your lap. But it's definitely an uptick in your money and finances. But when you look at it, it's a different story. Why are two people on their knees for this guy's attention? I feel like you could have had energies that really would prefer you on your knees. And I don't mean like that, dirty birds, but maybe for some of you that that might be the case but no energies that will keep you at the knees because they need their ego fed and the one guy's waiting to be fed those breadcrumbs why this other guy's finally getting something you know i think that is a burden and those are the people who want influence on your life but it's funny if you if somebody says okay sag why don't you buy this car they could be driving a Porsche, but you deserve like a 1988 Ford Escort. Oh, those were good cars. I had that in high school. And then you get it and it breaks down. They'll be like, well, why did you buy that car? See, you're living with the consequences from their bad advice. You need to not do that. Okay. Yeah. Queen of Swords reverse. I feel like too, you, you may have been dealing with this, a Queen of Swords reverse where it's like this built up anger, but it's not coming out appropriately. Um, you could be venting to all your friends and everybody and their brother, but the person who really deserves your wrath. This King of Swords, I feel like even though we're working backwards, I feel like this is where you're going. I feel like you're growing, but this is just fed up. This is fed up having to shut up. This is fed up with dealing with breadcrumbers fed up with the big mouths that, that can't live their own life the way they really should be living, but they sure can control your life. You're just fed up, you know? What is the 201's reverse for Sagittarius? What's the 201's reverse for Sag? What is the 201's reverse? And the devil, yeah. Making the decision to break free. Some of you, it's about your own personal addictions. It could be an eating addiction. It can be a drug addiction, an alcohol addiction, a sex addiction, addiction to, to negative narcissistic energies. Yes, that does exist. Because we tend to be around what's familiar to us. And some, some people, many people, are familiarized with being mentally and physically abused. That's where they feel their love. Not when they're actually getting abused, but when the person comes back and loves bomb them. It's that dopamine. They get a hit from it. And, and they know it's not good, but yet that's all they know. They're, I don't know why I went down that road. Maybe for someone needs to hear it, but it's time to break free from it. You're only chained 
to the decision to not making the decision to stay there nobody's really keeping you there there's no witchcraft going on there's no spell work it's it's just it's all about you making that change taking personal responsibility and saying no more no more i wish you well but i need to i need to move on i need to hit the road because there's something more for me out out there than there is here capricorn energy and some of you in capricorn season which is this month and and into next month is making the decision to do this it's it's a big push see the devil energy if we're taking the positive side of it it's a magnitude of energy to push you away from this and into this it's it's pushing you out of the darkness into the light it's like literally if you're on like the full energy and you're on a cliff it would be like god just pushing your back and you're flying like you you know it's it, it, that's what this is it's pushing you to make a really strong decision to take control of your life and your and your the consequences from your own decisions both good and bad and i feel like if you do like that it's going to be mostly good king of swords in the past why is the king of swords in the past why is the king of swords in the past and the queen of wands look at that when your king of swords comes out our queen of wands is now upright see your king of swords is your protection mode it's i i had this story remember in the beginning i didn't feel it was clear it's really crystal clear i feel like you had to shut up i feel like you had a lot to say but you were around I, it doesn't feel like one, it feels like multiple energies. That's why it feels like it could be a work dynamic, a family dynamic, even if it would be a relationship, you were dealing with this person, their kids or their family. It was one against the world energy. So you, <coughs> excuse me, statue, you were, this is a built up of a bunch of shit happening. And I think your king of swords, I have to take a drink. All of a sudden my throat got so itchy. Maybe it's like, don't talk about this anymore okay so your king of swords has to come out like another personality here like we have a schizophrenic i think we all have that in us in a healthy way because if it doesn't happen that's when you get run over and i just covered my king of swords up where did he go there he is no i didn't okay so your king of swords comes out here and says you know what quit trying to control me like this i feel like when you get fed up this is what happens your king of swords comes out it's really clear it's really take control because you've taken too much shit queen of wands reverse if you are under people's opinions and advice and control and influence and on and on and on and where has it gotten you you're on a treadmill you haven't gotten very far you're in that same relationship because you have influence by maybe their family or your family saying just stick it out grass isn't always greener yeah but if you are trying to grow grass from weeds it, you can water it all day long it's still going to be weeds okay sometimes it's it's really getting clarity on your situation and acting appropriate in appropriately towards rectifying it how we rectify it is saying you know what i deserve better and i will get better queen of wands now we're upright so your king of swords in inside is protecting this queen of wands from the queen of wands is what creates your best life right it's your it's like your inner mechanisms to turn that upright and the queen of wands she will run a business she will build a business she will she it's just a charismatic energy it's a high vibrational energy and when you're in that energy you're going to attract high vibrational people people who are good for your soul people who encourage you to grow not people who encourage you to hold yourself back so i really like that i like that i like that so the king of swords and the queen of wands i think that's within you Okay, let me turn her back. She, I want to keep her upright because I feel like she's really, if she's not upright yet in your life, she will be soon. And that's within you. What is the Queen of Wands reverse on Sagittarius's mind? And that's just delay, but it's lack of confidence. What is the Queen of Wands reverse on Sagittarius's mind? And it's the Fool. Remember I said at the cliff, you're going to be going... <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you're like, doo, 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 I got this January 1st. I got this. And at some point you go to the edge of the cliff and say, look down and say, holy shit, that is a drop. That's a change in my life. I don't know if I got it that, that much or, oh, this is a lot more work than I thought. And, and I feel you're just like, I don't know, Stacy. I don't know. I remember that reading. 
I don't know if I really could do this. And you know what's going to happen? Look at these two energies. Look how they're at the precipice. They're at the cliff. And this guy is thinking about jumping. And this guy is just like, oh, this is what comes behind you and pushes you so far off. You're flying. Okay. You're off your feet and you're literally flying like a baby bird. It's very sweet. But yeah, I can't even remember if it was the full upright or the full reverse. I think it was the full upright on the Queen of Wands reverse. But that energy is really just, just be in the here and now. The fool does, and his tiny little bag, he doesn't take the past with him. He's not taking 2021 and the bullshit into 2022. He's just in the here and now and saying what happens, happens, because I can't, I'm only going to be better for it. It's just knowing whatever decisions you're going to make from now on, especially if they're in a direction of bettering yourself, you're just going to be better for it. And it's in and enjoy the ride. What is the Three of Cups in the near future for Sag? The Four of Cups reverse. I like that. Cancer and Cancer. But I feel like you could have been like this. You could have been waiting for a cup you didn't get. You could have been procrastinating a big decision. You could have been putting off what you could do today, but you've been putting it off tomorrow. This is a lot of procrastination. This is a lot of apathy. And because of that, it's boredom in one's life. Lack of passion. You are Knight of Wands. I feel like you need passion. You need to explore relationships. You need, a, you need passion within love, but you need passion within yourself. You may love to travel. You might wanna, you know, I feel like you've been trying to confine yourself into a box because it makes other people happy. And this is about, let's explore that. Let's not sit there anymore. Let's stand up and go to whatever this is because it feels really good. And I feel like their cups are full and this with the three of cups and the six of pentacles, these are friends that will give back to you as much as you give back to them. Because you been, were waiting for a cup that was probably empty if you got it. And you would have had to fill it if you wanted to keep it. And, it, and this person then would have given it to someone else when you weren't looking. Okay, what is the three of cups and the four of cups reverse? Cancer energy, near future. What is that? And I do feel like you might have trouble get going and or you get going and then you're just like you might stop within a week or whatever this is and you're motivated but it happens it's not natural first of all if this happens to you no matter what task you're willing to take on if it's about starting a new way of eating or exercise plan or starting your own business or changing jobs we're always got that motivation but i want to say within about the second week it might dwindle it's that is completely natural and you need to understand it's natural but i feel like six of pentacles three of cups i think allow people to help you because it's usually it only has to be momentary if you want it to be it can either stop you completely or it can just stop you for a day and sometimes it is good to to take a day and chill out or go for a walk or do something different because that's where we get our balance back if you do too much in one area of your life well you're going to have imbalance so sometimes when people are just like, I don't know why I'm depressed today. I don't know why I'm sad. I don't know why I'm tired. Because you need to be. Because you, that's your body and your mind saying, take a break. Because this is the energy you are facing. Magician energy, Virgo energy, and Gemini energy. That is a major manifester. So this is a Sag. If you want to lose 50 pounds this year, the magician says done. If you want to a lot more money this year, the magician says done. It's going to happen, but you have to be willing to put in the work and you have to be willing to apply that pressure day in and day out. Like I said, there is days where you just don't feel it. Well, don't force it. If, you, if that's the case, change your energy up and just do something different because it, when you wake up the next day, you'll be right back on that horse, your Knight of Wands horse. And look at that, Queen of Cups and the Hierophant. And I do feel like in 2022, for many of you, this is some big love coming in and a balanced love. We're leaving, we're done with 2021, and it was no fun. With the Ace of Cups reverse, it was this, you know, the elusive empty cups that you may have been trying to achieve that only physically drained you. Nine of Pentacles reverse kept you stuck because somebody was completely controlling the rules of the game. And you're like, I don't want to play your game anymore, Three of Pentacles. I don't want to sit there. I feel like these three people are watching online. I always feel like that. You don't want to watch something and wait for somebody to, to have that much control over your life because it only keeps you in your Knight of Wands reverse state. And this is like a powerful card, but it's not in drive. It's a, you've been in neutral, waiting for someone to put you in drive. And this is a Sagittarius that says, you know what, I'm changing horses. I understand what I want, can't happen overnight, but I have the patience to take this Ace of Pentacles and apply it 
pressure every day and it's going to turn damn well into a ten of pentacles state because nobody's going to make me feel like this ever again five of pentacles taurus energy of feeling rejected not enough not la not being enough not having enough not doing enough it's just and usually this comes from people making you feel like that it's not from you inside it's the voices that went into your ear and got trapped and circulating in your brain so all right my sages that is what i have for you oh wow is this a big reading i am so sorry 30 minutes these are only supposed to be usually about 20 minutes i really got taken away with this reading but yeah i hope you guys have a very safe happy and healthy new year's i want 2022 to be whatever you dream it to be and if you dream it and believe it you will achieve it okay remember that okay my dears i will see you next year which is really sunday um <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm 46. That, that never gets old. Every year, that never gets old. Okay, Sag, uh, that is what I have for you guys. I, yeah, I hope you guys have a great weekend. Um, I may or may not see you Sunday because I'm doing the bonus reads, but if not, I'll see you next week. Take care.